let's learn about alveolar macrophages today alveolar macrophages are the first line of defense against invading respiratory pathogens they reside in pulmonary alveoli and the interalveolar septum in close proximity with the pneumocytes the alveoli are the terminal unit of the respiratory system responsible for the gaseous exchange the alveoli are comprised of three different kind of cells one is type 1 pneumocytes which hides in respiration they do not replicate and the another one is type 2 pneumocytes they secrete a lipoprotein called surfactant that prevents the collapse of the alveoli even after exhalation and third type of cell are the alveolar macrophages they produce a variety of signaling chemicals that interact with the other cells of the immune system to orchestrate a response that maintains immunological and tissue hemostasis in the body so alveolar macrophages are free cells with high phagocytic activity which are transiently attached to the surface of the alveolar epithelium by pseudopodia and they can crawl over by amoeboid movement they play a major role in host defense mechanism tissue remodeling and in homeostasis the origin of the alveolar macrophages the alveolar macrophages originate from the bone marrow from the common myeloid progenitor these myeloid cells further differentiate into myeloblasts that that give rise to monocytes monocytes travel in the blood stream and get matured in the connective tissue of the organ to form macrophages they settle in the pulmonary interstitium and they migrate into the alveoli remove of alveolar macrophages some move up the bronchial tree and appear in sputum some return into the interstitial space then leave via lymphatics function of the alveolar macrophages they play a major role in innate immune defense mechanism they remove dust particles microorganisms from the respiratory surfaces and also play an important function in surfactant removal that by maintaining the homeostasis role of alveolar macrophages in defense mechanism the alveolar macrophages play an important role in scavenging microbes such as viruses bacteria fungi inhaled environmental particles like coal silica asbestos tissue debris and cancers the alveolar macrophages has pattern recognition receptors on its surface which includes toll like receptors cd14 receptor scavenger receptor and mac1 receptor these receptors are activated once they are recognized by the pathogen associated molecular pattern on the pathogenic organism the interplay between the toll like receptors and the pathogen associated molecular patterns transmits chemical signals that trigger process of pathogen engulfment and the secretion of pro inflammatory cytokines that enhance the local immune response after internalization of microbes or phagocytosis the phagosomes are fused with the lysosomes to form phagolysosomes and production of digestive enzymes that kill the pathogen the killing of microbes can either be oxygen dependent or non oxygen dependent the oxidative process include generation of respiratory burst by NADPH oxidase the non oxygen dependent processes includes secretion of lysosomes ion binding protein toxic cationic polypeptide and release of pro inflammatory cytokines like tnf alpha interleukin 1 and interferon gamma during an active inflammatory reaction certain pro inflammatory cytokines play an important role in tissue repair and fibrosis role of alveolar macrophages in surfactant removal the surfactant are the possible lipids produced by the pneumocytes that prevent the collapse of alveolar walls during expiration the another function of alveolar macrophages is to remove the excess surfactant and thus maintain homeostasis for removal of surfactant the alveolar macrophages require signaling molecule known as granulomonocyte colony stimulating factor which is produced by respiratory epithelium they act on gmcsf receptor present on the alveolar macrophages the binding of granulomonocyte colony stimulating factor to the gmcsf receptor helps in survival differentiation and proliferation of monocytes macrophages so once the receptor gets activated the alveolar macrophages uptake surfactant and undergo catabolism the gene encoding gm csf receptor are csf 2ra and csf 2rb any genetic mutation affecting these receptors results in abnormal surfactant accumulation because of decreased uptake of the surfactant in pulmonary alveolar proteinosis there are two types one is autoimmune and hereditary in autoimmune there will be development of antibodies to the gm csf in hereditary there will be no receptors because of genetic mutation in the csf2ra and csf2rb it results in disruption of gm csf signaling and blocks terminal differentiation of alveolar macrophages thereby reducing their ability to clear surfactant 
leading to accumulation of surfactant which leads to pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. Alveolar macrophages are also known as dust cells when they phagocyte dust and cigarette particles containing carbon. They are known as heart failure cells when they phagocyte blood cells that enter into the alveolar space in congestive cardiac failure. Clinical significance in COPD and in smokers, the ball shows increased amount of alveolar macrophages. And the alveolar macrophages released increased amount of trypsin or elastases, which can cause tissue damage, especially in patients with alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. In smokers, carbon laden histiocytes are present in the centriacinar area. The alveolar macrophages are also involved in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a condition in which lung tissue is replaced by the fibrotic tissue. Fibroblasts are normally absent in the healthy lung tissue, but have been found in the ball fluid of the IPO. In some studies, fibroblasts are considered as a subset of alveolar macrophages as they express the same monocyte surface markers such as CD11B and CD14. In pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, the disruption of GMCSF signaling results in decreased ability of the alveolar macrophages to clear surfactant, resulting in abnormal surfactant accumulation. Certain bacteria such as Mycobacterium tuberculosis can resist phagocytosis. In such cases, the alveolar macrophages contain the infection from spreading to the other organs by forming granulomas.